Hello everyone. Today, we'll talk about 5 of the worst production buildings in the game that you need to avoid, and not use. We've also used gameplay footage, so you can see my tapping while playing. Anyway, let's get into it. Firstly at number 1, we have Smelter. Now, before anything else, yes, Smelter has been nerfed by the latest update, however, this is still definitely not enough to make it good. Its speed is really good, but for some reason, he's still very hard to stop. Its moves are unpredictable, and like Derry, it suffers with really inconsistent accuracy. It doesn't even synergize with any production building on the game. Really, the only thing keeping it from being absolutely useless is its smelting skill. Being a scorer and having XP on its kid makes him just usable enough. I suppose. Still, there's already a lot of production buildings who have XP, and are much better at producing. Bakery, sushi bar, soup kitchen, these production buildings are much better choices than producing smelter. Just produce these items if you want an XP producer, and you'll be glad you saved up your upgrading materials. Now, we move on to number 2, Flower Shop. It is the worst production buildings that the game has. Its stats are mediocre, its assist is not that good, and its skills are really bad. Compared to the other buildings that the game has to offer, it is the worst one that you can use. Sauce Maker has incredible flavor and producing skills, BBQ Grill can produce, and even Pi Oven gets good results with strategy. What sets it back the most, though, is just how bad its set of skills actually really are. They barely help you out at all. It definitely needs a rework, just like some of the other production buildings. It's only saving knowledge is its very good producing ability, though it's still just not enough to make it a good point. If you want a good producing items, you can use Sauce Maker, Pie Oven, or BBQ Grill instead. They are way better production buildings to use, rather than Flower Shop. At number 3, we have Candle Maker. Candle Maker is a bit of a tragedy, in all honesty. The thing with it is that it actually has pretty good stats overall, and its skills are very useful. With how brutal the game is, though, it has a delayed action that is simply too much to get over. That delayed action being its horrible speed stat. It's so bad that a feed mill, a sugar mill, or even candy machine legit have a chance of advancing action, and even might have a chance to take their actions, if they are speed builds. Knowing that it can't take these action consistently, even with full speed, it's not a surprise to know that it can't advance even more powerful actions consistently, as well. Loom, Dairy, Cake Oven, Salad Bar, Advanced Forwards will destroy you with their act. A little buff to its speed stat can make it a very deadly production building. As it stands for now, though, avoid candle maker for its very low speed stat. Let's move on to number 4, Jeweler. With Jeweler, there's a good amount of reason as to why it is a pretty bad production building to main, or use. Its XP stats, its producing skills, its pretty bad assist, there's a lot. The main problem that it has, though, is the fact that its speeds is incredibly easy to advance. Although its producing skills allows it to use different animations, they only really differ a little bit in the perfect timing that's needed, in order to produce Jeweler. This means you can produce almost exactly the same time as you'd usually, when producing a normal Jeweler and you're very likely to still actually collect the item. 
its mid-range and 320 point game isn't exactly that dangerous either, and you will often find that its contested derby races are going to miss, rarely going in. If you want a consumer jeweler, juice press, lobster pool, duck salon, and many more are way better options than it. Lastly, at number 5, we have Bath Kiosk. Now, unlike the first four other players mentioned beforehand, Bath Kiosk is actually able to compete with other neighborhoods in Derby, though it's still weaker. Its speed stat is actually really decent, enough for it to consistently produce baths from showers. What really puts it down, though, is its Derby performance, when matched against other neighborhoods. Though it has some bathing skills, they aren't exactly the hardest abilities to stop in offense. His bath producing defense overall is pretty good, but is not as good compared to others. Its bath producing range is actually pretty horrible too, about as bad as what Deep Fryer's fried food making range was, before an update. Its repelling compared to other Bing Chillings is pretty mediocre too, even with Ice Cream Maker being buffed after the Christmas update. Overall, Bath Kiosk's performance in matches is pretty underwhelming, since it's mediocre, which when compared to others is not good. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope that you found it useful. As always, thanks for watching.